Hello guys! Today I am going to show you one of my not really favorite apps but I've been playing this a lot and you will see my computer mouse because I am playing this app on my PC. Uh, I'm playing it through an application called Bluestacks which helps me to play mobile games on my PC which I prefer because I don't really enjoy playing mobile games. So I'm going to click around and see if I can make this happen because I've never actually really tried to record using Bluestacks uh, so it's gonna be interesting but this is Tap Tap Fish in this lovely little game you will find one small lonely Coralite who is trying to create life because it feels very lonely and this game was originally, originally called Abyssrium which is what I tend to call it myself uh, but nowadays it's called Tap Tap Fish. Uh, it's a super easy game to play. I have been playing it on both my personal phone and my work phone for a very long time just because it's such a cute game to hang around with when you don't really have anything to do. To play this game you just tap on the screen. It's super easy. So I'm gonna tap for a bit so you can see that I'm gonna earn vitality which is the currency of this game. This is my Coralite. He's kind of happy that I'm joining him here. He's so cute, I love him. It's gonna be interesting to play this game from the beginning now because this game has evolved a lot since I started playing it for the first time. So it's gonna be really fun to see how it has evolved from the beginning and up. Uh, so now my Coralite is awake and we are going to start adding corals and like seaweed and some fishes just to give him some company because he's all alone here in my aquarium thingy. So, to if you tap on the Coralite and get Vitality, you can create life. And you can check the Vitality down here. By the way, if you think that the computer mouse is disturbing, I can remove it for the next time I'm gonna record an app, so please tell me what you think of it, if it's easier to see something. Because if you're not gonna see the, the mouse, you might not see what I'm clicking on. So, if you think it's better not to have a mouse at all, and just try to imagine where I'm clicking, tell me. If you want to see the mouse, just tell me that and we're gonna keep it. Now we can grow our Coralite. Uh, because if we open the menu here, we can grow the Coralite and add some other things. We can't add stuff right now because we're so early on in the game, this is still a tutorial. And I want to show you the tutorial steps so you know how to get started. Because I know I accidentally managed to get a bunch of friends into this game a while back and they did not really get how to get started. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So for now I'm gonna just add uh, some vitality here so I can level my Coralite up. I'm gonna have to keep clicking to get more vitality so I can level up more. I'm gonna just use take a lot of vitality to get started now. So every time the Coralite increases in level, the vitality per tap increases as well. So it's gonna be easier to gain more vitality, but of course it's gonna be a bit of like an economy. So it's not like it's gonna be uh, that you can just keep spamming vitality, because it's gonna demand more and more vitality to level up for each and every new level. So right now we're just gonna level the Coralite up. I think it, we're trying to reach level 25. Yeah, you can see that there. I'm just blind. And as you can see here, the vitality went up to A, which, and that's just because you don't want to have like millions of uh, vitality because it's going to be difficult to read. So instead, it's going to be like when you read, I think when you reach 90,000 or something, it's going to be uh, vitality B instead. It's going to be super easy to understand when you are playing it. It's a bit difficult to explain, I think. Now we're just going to level the core light up. It's way more fun when you can have some fishes, and we're soon going to be able to have that. There we go. So now we can get a bonus for leveling up. Yay! So now the vitality per tap is increased by 2 for every time I click now. And every 25 levels I will get a new bonus. So now we're gonna create some coral! And now we can click down here. It's gonna We're gonna get more and more tabs as we level up. So now we're gonna raise some coral. And they will automatically create vitality per second. So it's gonna help us to level up our... Uh, Coralite. So now I need to 
tap a bit to unlock my first coral, which is a staghorn coral. I'm gonna unlock it for 500 vitality. And now when I buy my first coral, I unlock some fish, so I can now buy two types of clownfish. And I can keep on leveling up my coral. And as the coral levels up, you're gonna see more and more coral around. So if you level up the coralite a lot, the coralite will expand and get bigger. And if you continue to raise your coral, that's also gonna expand and get bigger. So this little aquarium is gonna get so gorgeous when you've been playing for a while. So on my phone, it looks amazing because I've been playing for so long. I recently downloaded a sort of a streaming service, so I should be able to record stuff from my phone on my PC. So I will try to see if it's possible to show you guys my own uh, aquarium on my phone. Um, it's kind of laggy though. I think it's because when the game increases in size it gets a bit laggy and I've been playing for a very long time. But I think it's gonna work out better on my PC, so I'm quite excited to be playing this on my PC instead. Right now I'm just gonna level up my coral a lot. And this is a very tappy, tappy, tappy game. Uh, but I think this is really relaxing. I really, really enjoy this game. So now we have received another bonus, and on every 25 levels, the corals receive a bonus. Just as with the coralite. So now it's time for fishes! We're gonna have some clownfish. And there are hundreds of fish in this game, so if you are a fish fan, you're gonna love this. They are so precious. So we can create fishes now, and I have received a lot of vitality. Oh yeah, we can get some of the daily uh, rewards as well, because I've been upgrading corals a lot, and I'm gonna get gems, and the gems are like the premium currency of this game. Uh, it is possible to get free gems every once in a while, but I think it it really helps out to get them for free when you can. So I often watch ads and do daily missions to get more gems because they're gonna help me to increase stuff around my coralite to make life a bit easier. Uh, let's, for now let's go with one of those orange clownfish. Look at this! My first fish! So let's take a photograph. This is very nice because now I take a photo and I can turn around if you're playing on your phone, you just like, push down with your finger and move around. And since I'm now on my PC, I can just click down and move around. Uh, right now I'm trying to scroll, that doesn't really help. But if you pinch, if you are doing this on your phone, you can zoom in and out. You can also save uh, the photos and share them on social media. And now, of course, we're gonna... The game is gonna ask me if I want to allow this. So I'll save the picture. Uh, the game will ask you to share this on social media a couple of times and you will get perks by doing that. I might share on my social media because I do enjoy this game. Uh, and I have to admit, I don't enjoy paying for mobile games because I don't think that they often give a lot back to the user. But I have been paying for playing this game on my own phone because I do enjoy it a lot, and I think it's very, very pretty. I think I, I, I've been paying more than I should, I think, so I will not pay anymore for this game, but I have been enjoying it a lot, I have to admit that. Let's see here. Yeah, so here the game tells me about the achievements, and you will have a lot of different achievements, uh, which levels up as you level up, so you will have a lot of opportunities to get some really cool rewards. Oh, and also we have some daily thingies, so uh, if I log in tomorrow again, I will get this cute little walking fish. I think it's like an axiotl? I don't know what it's called in English. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna try to remember to log on tomorrow so I can get that one. And I think today we're just gonna have a look through the entire tutorial, and I will surely play more of this game because I really really enjoy it. I really recommend you guys to try it. I, I mean, it's a cute game. You can't really do much, but if you enjoy just watching fishes, it's kind of fun. 
And is that the... Uh, oh! Apparently there's still a Valentine event running. There's a lot of events in this game. Lots of events. Oh, wait. Welcome gift. Thank you. Loads of gems for me. Um, expand. Oh, wow. Now a lot of things is going on here. Purchase new terrain. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Okay. I bought new terrain. And I'm gonna place a rock on it. Gorgeous. Astonishing. And as long as the game tells me it's free, I'm gonna do this. I have never really understood this part because this is a newer expansion. And I've always been like, I don't know what this is. I just want to increase my Coralite because I love my Coralite. And also, there is a virtual reality mode. I have not tried it because I don't have a VR headset to my phone. But if you do have a VR headset to your phone, you can watch your aquarium in VR. I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know how it works since I've never been able to try it myself, but I mean, if you can, try it out. Uh, yeah, nothing fun here. Here's a couple of collections. I really, really, really enjoy collections. So here we see that I will get a reward if I get a blue clownfish or a red clownfish. And well, if I get all three of them, I will get 10 pearls. So there's tons of opportunity to get some cool rewards here. Here's a camera icon above my clownfish. So if I press the camera and take a photo, I will get bunches of vitality. I had to think for a minute to realize what it was called. And of course I can move around and save my photo when I'm pleased with it. Uh, I wonder if I could... Yeah, so since I'm work doing this on a PC, I can press down control and scroll uh, to zoom out. And this is a really, this is kind of like photo mode in Star Stable. I really, really enjoy this. Uh, but now we're done. Um, I don't want to save it. I want to close. And let's buy another fish. By the way, if you click on the little chest, you'll get the opportunity to watch an ad and get the reward. I will not watch any ads here. And if I watch an ad while I'm recording, I will cut it out because I don't think it's fair to you guys to be forced to watch ads because I want rewards. <laughs> uh, also, I'm not paid in any way to make this video, so I don't want to uh, give space to different ads because it might seem a bit strange. Let's create a new fish. Ooh, look at these. Oh, I'm so pretty. Close. So for every fish you create, you'll get a lot of more vitality bonuses and also more vitality per second. So as you see, the vitality is going up like crazy here. Uh, and I'm going to level up my Coralite. And you see here that you have an easy way to level up here. I am always kind of careful with how I level up because I want it to be as even as possible. Uh, because of my OCD, I can't survive this otherwise. Also, there's a bunch of different bonuses here. They are very, very helpful when you continue to play this game. Now, as you see, I'm already at level 75, uh, so it's easy to level up. Uh, it's very rewarding to play this game. Uh, I enjoy this so much. And I've been saying that a million times already, but I really do. Let's see here. Oh, I can unlock another coral. Seaweed. Nice. And also by adding more corals, I will unlock more fish. So right now I can't get more fish because uh, in order to get my fire goby, I need to have five clownfish. I currently only have two. I believe that the blue one you saw in the collection thingy is a hidden fish. And how do I find the hidden fishes now again? I'm gonna click on manage to see here. Blue clownfish, and you don't know how to get it. I think it's some sort of... I need to do something in order to unlock it. There's a lot of fun fishes here. Especially if you go very far down the list. There's like a... Let's see here. There's a narwhal somewhere. I do love narwhals. Great white shark. Uh, some orcas. A uh, blue whale. Uh, oh yeah, the narwhal is a hidden fish. I believe you get the narwhal by clicking the upper left corner. Here's the left corner. 5,000 times. 
or something like that. Uh, is, you can Google around to see how to find hidden fishes because there's a lot of good guides online. Uh, I wonder if I should try it. But I would not be able to do that now, I think. But good thing to do. I do need the vitality. And also, this is a difficult game to stop playing, I think. Uh, for now, I'm gonna level up my coral to 100. And also, we are done with the tor tutorial. So, I'm just going to try to wrap this up. I'm not gonna sit here for hours and hours. But I felt that I really want to share this game with you. And I think this might be a game that I want to play every once in a while here on my channel. Because it's fun to have some variation around. Level 100, and I now unlocked a skill to have 10 auto taps per second for 5 minutes every once in a while. And that's a really good extra skill to have because that help that's a huge help whenever you play for like the first time of the day when you log in and you like set up some skills and just let the core like go and give you bunches of vitality. And I think that's really nice. Daily mission. Now we can get 10 more gems. Nice. Uh, you see here also that if I play for 20 minutes, I've been playing for 16 now. I will get 10 gems. And you can see some more things here. You will even get gems for watching uh, the ads. I would like another fish. If you have a look here, you can uh, merge fish fishes at a later point when you have gone a bit further into the game. To get some very interesting, like, mutant fishes. <laughs> and also here, you can watch ads to get free fishes. Spin, first try free, let's do it. Let's see if we can get something fun. Oh, this could be a vent fish. Yes, this is, is it one of the cake whale? I guess this is from one of the birthdays of the game. So now if I go to my fish menu, I can go to event fish. As you can see, there's a lot of fish around here. And we can go down and down and down and down and down. Here. And I can click this button to have my new whale swimming around here in my aquarium and helping my other two fishes to gain more vitality around. I think so at least. Let's try this one as well. I might be lucky and get another fun fish. Here we get a... Uh... What is it? Oh, this must be from a mommy mahi mahi. It must be from Halloween. So let's add my mommy mahi mahi as well. Usually I go by having some fun themes around. Like I could have a lot of big fish and maybe a couple of seahorses and well all the pretty things uh, but right now I only have four fish so I can't do much um, watch ad I will not watch any ads today I will might watch some ads when I'm done recording so I can set up some more things for future videos and I think we're gonna call it a day I have shown you a few things about tap tap fish uh, I really recommend this game if you are bored. Unfortunately, it does drain a lot of battery from your phone, but uh, as for me, I usually uh, pull this app up while rendering videos at work, because then I usually can't use my computer at once anyway. So I can just pull up my phone and play some tap tap fish while I'm waiting for the video to render, so I can use my PC again and continue to work. Uh, and also I do the same at home while I'm rendering like uh, Instagram promos for my videos here. I just tend to play tap tap fish for a while and tap on my fishes and uh, look at my Coralite and tell it it's pretty and all that jazz. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you want to download the app, it's free to play, of course. Uh, you can use in-app purchases. I don't really recommend it because you don't get a lot from it, but I think it's really fun to play this just as a free app. It's quite easy to get far, even if you don't pay anything. Uh, so, that's all for me today. Uh, I have a couple of other apps I'm going to record and show you guys at some date. Uh, yeah, at least sometime, because I think it's fun to have some variety in gaming, and also since I don't really have a big video series on Thursdays running, it's fun to have something showing up 
once in a while just to have some other things to fill out the channel and because I really enjoy making videos. So that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you want more Tap Tap Fish, don't forget to leave a comment and tell me about it. If you do have another phone app you want me to play, uh, well, games no matter what platform really. Just tell me, I'm gonna at least have a look at it. I can't promise anything, but I will do some research and see if I want to try it out. Thank you so much for today, and I hope to see you all next time.